Hi there, it's Misty Elam. Welcome to another card video on my YouTube channel. Uh, it feels like forever since I've done one of these videos. Um, it has, I'm sorry, I, it was Christmas and life just happened and it got crazy and yeah. So anyway, I am hoping to do more cards, which mean more videos. So stay tuned for those. I'm using um, this adorable little bunny by Purple Onion Designs. Um, his name is Birch and this was my first order I had placed with this company and I love, love, love their images. They're so adorable. I already have uh, another cart full that I'm, <laughs> I want to purchase from them. But um, yeah, so my next couple cards are going to be using the other images that I purchased. I did a haul video that will uh, show you all the images that I purchased. Um, you can get to that video if you click on the little icon up in the top right hand corner. Um, for now though, I am going to watercolor him with Distress Inks. I'm using, um, let's see, Antique Linen for the lighter parts, the face and the belly, and then I'm going to use a Vintage Photo for the uh, darker parts of the bunny. And I watered him down first. I wanted the colors to be pretty diluted. Um, I wanted to keep him, you know, light, light in color. I just love him. He is so cute. I had to do a bunch of them because I knew I wanted to do a bunch of a bunch of different cards using him. So some of the colors leaked onto the lighter color um, the, of the belly because I didn't dry it and I didn't wait for it to dry. So I just took a paper towel and I dabbed the color out. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add the color back in. It's one of the great things about watercoloring is, you know, if you get a color in the wrong place like with this I just paper towel and it pretty much soaked up all the color and then I just added it back in so uh, for his ears and his cheeks I'm using tattered rose look how adorable he is I love his little beanie hat <laughs> anyway um yeah, so I had some health issues I had to deal with, and of course it happens right at Christmas time when life is at its craziest. So I am working on getting back to my old self again, so hopefully I'll be able to make more um, cards now. Um, the um, paintbrush I'm using, I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll... Um, have more information on my blog if you want to um, take a look. I'll, I'll list what paintbrush I'm using. It's one of my all-time favorite paintbrushes for these little images like this. It's a really nice paintbrush. I stamped them out uh, two different ways. The three bunnies on the left hand side I did using um, black embossing powder. So I, I like the embossing powder for watercoloring because it gives you that raised edge and so the color kind of stays where you want it to stay but it's um it's pretty harsh I mean it's it's black so it's pretty you know it's black black and then the three on the right I used um just regular uh jet black archival ink um because I didn't want it to be so dark as the ones on the left so just two different styles just depends on you know how how you want yours to look but the embossing powders are really nice for watercoloring and I know you know sometimes I've done it with um, black and uh, black ink and then I use clear embossing powder to go over it and and that seems to um, make it not so black it seems more of like a dark gray so that's another good way to do it too and I'm just gonna say I my head keeps popping into the screen and I tried to remove as much of the footage as I can with my head in it but you know then I'd end up with no video so I apologize for my big noggin being in some of these shots but um yeah just ignore it <laughs> won't say anything else about it maybe you won't notice that's a good question for you guys okay so for those of you who do videos and are happen to be watching my video here how do you remind yourself to keep your head out of the shot or how do you keep it out of the shot because I think I would think most people do or what I've seen I, I see I have a tripod that comes down off of my ceiling 
and I shoot down over my desk. So I think most people do it that way. So I would love it if you would comment below and tell me how you remember to keep your head out or how you keep it out. Because sometimes you just have to look right down over your image to, you know, make sure you're in the lines and stuff. Anyway, if anybody's watching this and would like to share that with me, please do. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I'm just going to add some finishing touches to my favorite little bunny here. And there are, I did a couple different colors, a couple different hats. Um, I just, I could have gone on forever like this. I loved doing this little guy. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there's just no getting around that one. Again, you know, I had to lean right over it to, to make sure I lined it up. I, I had a hard time. Um, I used, um, what's it called? I think it's just called masking paper. Um, it's by Simon Says Stamp, but I had a hard time because I wanted my my line there to be absolutely perfectly straight, and I wanted it to, uh, for what I'm doing next, it kind of had to be. So um, it took me a couple tries to get that masking paper on perfectly straight. But um, eventually I got it. <laughs> So now I'm going to use some more distressings. I guess this whole card is all distressings. And I'm going to color this little sliver here. And with this masking paper, the only part of my card front that's going to get this color is that little strip right there. And that's what the masking paper does. It's going to keep the rest of the card completely white. My edges were coming up, so. I was afraid that color was going to sneak under there. So I did this for a while. I won't sit here and bore you um, with the whole process. I'll just cut through to the colors. But um, I used cracked sp uh, pistachios, cracked pistachio for the that first color there, that green color, and then I used salty ocean and um, mermaid lagoon. Um, in that order. The top color was Mermaid Lagoon. And those blues, uh, I think it was a Mermaid Lagoon, they're really, really bright. And I was really nervous that I was going to, you know, get it on too heavy and have a big dark mark and have to start all over again because that has happened to me with distress inks. I have a love-hate relationship with ink blending. So I'm just going to go back through all three colors and try to blend them together. The blues blended together obviously pretty easy because they're almost the same color. Not really, but similar in color. And this is my favorite part of ink blending. is pulling away that masking paper and seeing how beautiful it turned out. I was so happy with this. Look at that coloring. I just had to stop and admire it for a minute. <laughs> and I actually did try to do a lighter, uh, lighter, yeah, that's the word, lighter um, strip. I mean, with the colors lighter, but, which I thought I would like with this little guy, but I just didn't like it as much. It didn't, um, I don't know, maybe for another image, but maybe one of the images that I didn't use, the black embossing powder, maybe I'll use that for that, but I just really liked the um, bright colors for this guy. And it matched his hat better. At first, I thought I was going to go with a white banner and a black sentiment, but um, I don't know. I just didn't like it. So I decided to go with a black banner with a white um, embossed sentiment instead, which turns out it matches the background perfectly. I'm just going to take a rag and wipe off um, any of that anti-static powder. It leaves it kind of cloudy, so that just cleans up the, the banner. The sentiment is from that stamp set on the left there. It's called I See You by Simon Says Stamp. I think it was in one of the card kits one month, if I remember right. I, um, 
I had a hard time with this. I'm a horrible decision maker. So you might see him in the video here, but I pulled in my son's little BFF to help me um, figure out a border color because I liked the craft paper. It matched the, the bunny, but um, I tried a couple different colors too, and they all, I, I liked them all. So I at first thought I was going to go with this craft pack paper here um, for my card base. And then I tried the blue, which I like too, matched perfectly. I tried, um, I even tried the, that cracked pistachio color, but I didn't like it. Um, and then I tried the black and I even tried white, which I liked, but, uh, my, my son's BFF chose the black. So that's what I went with. I tell you, it's a, it's a family event on my cards. I'm a horrible decision maker. I think it's in my sign. Aren't Libras um, bad decision makers? <laughs> I don't know. Again, I'm uh, still trying to figure it out. I So I, I put them on each one and I took pictures of it, hoping that would help me decide. <laughs> but ultimately, uh, yeah, I just went with what, what Bubby decided looked best. He's made a couple cards. He makes cute little cards, so I like getting his opinion. So then I just popped up the sentiment on some fun foam. And then I got this really bright idea to add some sparkle to this. So I don't think I've ever even used these before. It's called Sheer Shimmer Spritz. And it comes in a little two-pack. It's a, just a little, little spritzer bottle. There's my little helper. See, even his head gets in the shot. <laughs> I'm not alone on that. Yeah, so anyway, I, uh, I can't remember where I got these, but I'll put a link in the description below um, of what they are and where I got them. Oh, there they are. Comes in a two-pack. So I sprayed it on the, um, the background paper there, and it just, it's nice, even, pretty sparkle to it. Turned out really pretty. I mean, too bad most of it was is going to get covered up, but... That's okay. I gotta remember to use those more often. So I put it on the um, card base there and card background, and I'm also gonna put it on the ink blending strip right there. So instead of uh, using more masking tape, I just use the negative part of the masking paper and just to cover up the white because I didn't want the um, shimmer on the white part of the card. And that it's not sticky, so um, it's the part that comes off the sticky part. So I just had my little helper hold it in place there while I sprayed it. And then he complained because he had sparkles all over his hands. <laughs> oh, boys. But it went everywhere. It wasn't just on his hands. It was everywhere. I had it all over my my distress inks and <laughs> my acrylic block. It, it went everywhere. All right. Well, we are almost done with this card here. Um, oh yes, my <laughs> Bubby realized I wasn't wearing the rings that he gave me, <laughs> so we had to stop and put the little rings on. He's such a cute little kid. Heart of gold this kid has. All right, so I'm just going to use some um, Be Creative tape on both sides of my uh, fun foam for the banner sentiment. This tape is great tape. It's really, really strong tape. I mean, once you put this stuff down, you don't usually get it back up. You know how some adhesives, if you're quick enough, you can get them back up, but not with this stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm just using my ATG to put on the back of my card front. It's another really good um, adhesive. And almost had a disaster there with that uh, banner. And then I'm just going to line it up and put everything on here. I used um, a Zig two-way glue pen on the back of my little birch here. I thought about popping him up too, but with the banner popped up on Fun Foam, uh, I don't know. I just thought it would be too much. So this way it kind of looks like he's sitting right on the banner. I'm 
Love him. Look how cute he is. And I, I love how the colors match. All right, and then I'm just going to put it on my card base, which is always Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. It's by far the best um, card base you can use. And then I just lined it up, and that is my card. That's my cute little birch there. And it says, I'm here for you anytime. And that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I'll put links to everything I used in the description below. And you can also find more information on my blog. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>